Okay, today we are starting a class called BW Extraction. So, in a BW, we have of now whatever we have done, all the exercises and everything which belongs to the BW side. We have taken uh, data from the flat files, we have loaded the data into BW. Now, we have a data also in SAP side that is called SAP source system or you can call SAP ERP or you can call SAP ECC or SAP R by 3 so many names but only one single system that is called SAP R by 3 system R by 3 R stands for real time 3 stands for 3 tier architecture because it contains 3 layers database layer application layer presentation layer so we call 3 tier architecture so this database or this system contains so many applications so much data so how the data is coming the data is coming from the different applications what are these applications we call these applications as business applications what do you mean by business applications a business applications is nothing but the applications which are helping you to run your business that is called business applications I can also call it is a function modules we have a function modules called SAP SD, SAP MM, SAP FICO, HR, blah, blah, blah. It goes on. So we can call these applications as a business applications or a function modules. All these business applications of SAP ERP, they have classified into four groups. Logistics applications, financial or accounting, human resource, HR or HCM, HR stands for human resource, HCM stands for human capital management, industry sector, IS. So they categorize these applications, all the business applications into firms. The major group we're going to work is the logistics. Okay, so what is the logistics? It includes the following applications. So how do I know that you need to log on to your SAP ERP system? Now onwards, we need to work with the ERP system. Okay, how do I log on to ERP system? Here I have two systems. One is a BW, other one is a ERP or ECC. Select your ECC system, click on log on, provide a username and password. When you enter, it will take you to inside your screen. This is called your ECP, SAP ERP system or ECC system. Here you have SAP menu. Under this, I have a folder called logistics. If you expand this, you can see all the logistic related applications. Each application contains, each module contains a separate application. Each application contains its own data. See, for example, I have a material management. Under material management, I have a purchasing data, inventory data, excise data, physical inventory, valuation. For example, let's take a purchasing application. Under this, I have a purchasing order. Under this, I have a purchasing order related objects. So, these modules, MM, SD, Logistics Execution, Production, Production Processing, Plant Maintenance, Customer Service, Quality Management, logistics controlling project system lab it goes on so these set of group of applications falls under a category called logistics i can call these are all logistic applications don't think and don't get confusion the word called logistics in a general english logistics is nothing but transportation it is not belongs to transportation it is a separate group business application group called logistics then i have accounting then i have a human resource then i have a industry sectors this is how you check the data now come back to this in a erp side if you want to create anything or if you want to save anything or if you want to do any activity then every time the system is going to pop up a screen called package it is keep going to ask you, please enter your package name. Or we can also call it as a development class. 
what is a package here why it is asking package every single step it is really going to irritate you but you have to there is no option why why we have not done any kind of these activities in a BW side why only in a ERP side the reason because a package is nothing but if you do any activity that activities will be stored under this package so basically I can call package is a collection of logically related objects belongs to a business application a package is nothing but like a folder like object which we use to organize the objects such as programs screens menus reports tables etc etc whatever you're going to create all those objects will be stored under a folder like object called package just like your info area which you have to create your own or you have to use a existing or default package okay so what is a default package when you are saving the objects the system won't populate package screen in a BW side so objects are saved under TMB what does it mean so you are saying that whenever I log on to ERP system if I do any activity it is ask, it is going to ask you package now the question is why it was not asking a package in a BW system in a BW system also we have a package but that package is default package you don't have option to create your own that default package name is called dollar tmp all the objects whatever you're creating those are all storing under default package called dollar tmp let me show you that what is a default package in a bw side if i log on to my bw system go to your bw system okay for example i have open a info object here let me say for example i have open here let's say open customer number on info object okay then i have an option call extras object directory entry select info object can you see here what is this package what package is this dollar tmp guys can you see everybody this package yes, yes so what does it mean do you accept now we have a package also in the bw yes yeah but we are storing all the objects under okay. default package called dollar tmp so coming back to erp system you have an option still you can store the data into your default package called dollar tmp in erp side also then what is the problem why should i create my own the problem is if you store the data whatever if you store any kind of objects under your default package then what happens it those objects are not transportable it's clearly mentioning here the object saved under dollar tmp package cannot be transportable in the system landscape that is what is the system landscape here from development system to testing testing to production what does it mean if I design any object in the development system I cannot send it to testing from testing I cannot send it to production it is not transportable because those objects stored under dollar TMP package dollar TMP can be used only for self practice but in real time you need to save all the objects in a non local package non local package means it's your own package which is other than dollar TMP clear guys now okay. we'll see how to how to create your package if you want to create your package log on to your ERP system okay this is my ERP yeah, system. ERP is, 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 you know, that is R by 3. Yeah, you, you can call, that's why I told you, you can call any name. No, no, I got you can call okay. ERP or you can call ECC or you can call R by 3 also. Okay, great. Okay, so the transaction code is SE21. Press enter. When you enter SE21, it is going to ask you what is your package. Let's say. Z pack 
underscore 7 a.m. batch. Click on. Do you want to display or do you want to change or do you want to create? What do you want to do here? Create. We have to create the package. Yes. Click on create. It is going to ask you package description. Package for 7 a.m. batch. Okay. Click on continue. Every package contains one request integrated. So that request, it will display by default on the previously created request. If you want to use, you can use the same request. Or you want to create a separate request for you, yes, you can click on create new. Enter only description. Request for 7 a.m. badge. That's it. You don't need to do anything. Click on save. See, the request has created by 7 a.m. batch, the number also change. Your request number also will be changed by the system. What is the package? Jetpack underscore 7 a.m. batch. Now continue. It is going to show you what is the description of your package, who is the user, when it has created, when it has been updated, everything. Click on save. Click on back. This is how you create a package. Okay. Once you create a package, there is a transaction code called slash n s c eight. When you enter a c eighty, it opens a app development workbench. The first field contains a package. Select package. The second field you need to select your package. What is my package here? My package is jetpack underscore 7 7 a.m. right 7 a.m. press enter see it displays your package but it doesn't contains any objects here why why it doesn't contain any objects guys here I have not uh, uh, added to this request we have not added any. Uh, we have not added any object to this yeah. transport request. It is, it is just created. We have not added anything under this. Okay. Yes. Let me show you something which we already created. 8:30. See, under 8:30, these guys have so many things. 8:30 batch. We have done so many things. So all these things comes under automatically under stores under your package. Is it clear now? What is a package? Yes, Kiran. Okay. Fine. That is all about a package. Now let's go to the next class. As you know that in SAP ECC system, we have a data. The data will be stored in the tables. We have so many predefined tables in SAP ECC side. But one question is, I don't know which table contains a master data, which table contains a transaction data. How do you find out? It is very simple. Let me show you that. See, they will give you, for example, say Mara. But I don't know what is Mara, what kind of data it contains, whether it is a master data table or it is a transaction data table, I have a very big problem. So how do you find a solution for this? It's very simple. You can check what type of table it is. How? Enter AC11, enter your table name. For example, I have a Mara. It is a predefined table. Click on display. Then click on technical settings. Please observe, I have here data class. What is the data class here? APPL0. What does it mean APPL0 guys? What do you read here? Master data transparent tables. Master data. So this table is this table contains master data. Now you have a question. What is this table for? It has a description. General material data. Clear now? You can easily find out. It is contains a material data. Okay. Then we have one more table also called EKPO. Let's say one table. Click on display.
click on technical settings what is the data class here APPL1 what does it mean transaction data transaction data so now is it easy for you to find out which table contains which data yes APPL0 stands for master data APPL1 stands for transaction data now what is this table it contains a purchasing document item purchasing data is there in this table so this is how you find out what table contains what data whether it is a master data or transaction data it is easy for you to find out by using those kind of transaction codes now we have option called creation of table what is a creation of table we have types of table you can use a predefined type or built-in types using top-down approach or bottom approach but finally what I'll do I'll create a table with some columns what is this how I am creating info objects in BW when I create info objects what happening in the backend database system automatically it is creating the structure of the database it is creating a structure of the table the same way I want to create in a backend I want to create directly table in a ECC site no info object concept here what I'm doing I'm creating a table I'm entering columns in the table that is directly stores in your ECC backend database then how do I create yeah, I have two types of tables one is a creation of master data table other one is creation of transaction data table fine okay guys today I have a some work you know I'm I'm leaving this uh, topic here tomorrow will continue is that okay for you all of you fine tomorrow we'll see how to create a tables